My brows are already done. I did them off camera and I'm just being a complete weirdo right about now. <laughs> so then I'm going to go in and mute out my entire lid. I'm going in with my NARS Soft Matte Creamy Concealer in the color Amande. And I like to do this because if I don't want to do any eyeshadow that's like, you know, too intense or too crazy, this would just give me a flat base to work with. So then I'm just going to set that with my fave powder ever, the Fit Me Powder Loose Powder. From, I got it from Walmart for five bucks. It's awesome and it's in a color deep. Then I'm gonna go in with my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder. This is in a color cappuccino. And I'm gonna put that in my crease with my e.l.f. concealer brush. I love using this concealer brush for my crease. I do have a very big crease space, so it just gets right in there. Going in with my e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder in the color deep as well. I'm gonna go in and put just a little bit on my crease. And that concludes my eyeshadow tutorial. And then this is when I realized that I had a super straight smile. Does anyone else have a straight smile? Mine is super straight. Going in with some mascara. This is the L'Oreal, their new mascara, the L'Oreal one. Supposedly it's supposed to be just like the Too Faced and it kind of really is, the Too Faced better than sex. So this is a trick that I like to do. I like to put my glue on my lashes um, and then I like to move on to my complexion just to let my glue on my lashes dry a little bit. So I haven't been using like physical primer. Tony kind of got me out of using primers. Um, so now I've just been using a coconut spray primer. It still is a primer, but it's not like, you know, any type of um, consistency or texture to it. It's just like a water spray and it's their coconut spray. So going in with my NARS Radiant Creamy under my eyes, I'm not really going to be doing too much of my complexion today because as you guys can see, my skin has been breaking out so bad, guys, like so bad. So I've been trying to use more face products that are non comedogenic Usually those tend to be a little bit more gentle on your skin and they don't have like any crazy harsh chemicals or anything in it. So I've been using NARS, Sephora Collection, and Bare Minerals and it's been working for me. So if you guys have any suggestions or any other, um, you know, skincare I can do to control my skin. I did try the apple cider vinegar and it literally burnt my face off. So if you guys have any other suggestions on how to fix my skin, please let me know in the comment section below but I'm seriously obsessed with this new foundation guys this is the bare minerals bare pro foundation it is full coverage but it's such a thin and breathable consistency and that's really what they describe their product as is very breathable it literally is it's so thin it does not look like super cakey makeup for it to be full coverage and I love it so this is a neat color cappuccino again I just matched the powder with the foundation and I'm just going to blend that all over my face as you guys can see I'm not really doing too much to my complexion just doing a spray primer a little bit of concealer and foundation So now I'm going in with that same Fit Me powder and I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just set up under my eyes and um, down the bridge of my nose because that's where I put concealer. And then taking that same Bare Minerals powder, I'm going to use that to set my face and try not to drop, drop your brush. I did catch it though. <laughs> Reflexes on point. So I'm just going to go and set my face with this Kabuki brush from Vanity Planet. Now, as much as I would love to not wear makeup, I do still work at Sephora, so I really need to have some type of complexion or face on. It is required for my job that I have to have um, makeup on. So this is just what works for me, that I'm not wearing too much makeup, but I still look, you know, like something, something. I look decent, okay, decent. Then going in with my Elf, the same um, color that I use in my crease, I'm just going to lightly bronze my cheekbones and my nose.
Then I'm just gonna go in and place my lashes on. And then I'm going in with my milk eyeliner. I love to use a white eyeliner now. I don't know why I kind of slept on it for a while. Then I brought it back and then I slept on it again and now it's back. But I'm gonna put that in my waterline. And then just use that same bronzer I used for my crease just to define my lower lash line so it doesn't look extremely bright like how it looks right now. Then just putting some mascara on my lower lashes. Then I'm just going to spray with my Sephora collection spray. I love using this spray. It looks so natural and it also takes away that powder look on my face. Then I'm just going to seal in my brows with my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then going in with my Black Radiance Rose Gold Highlighter. I'm just going to glow for the gods and I'm going to put this on my brow bone, on my inner tear duct, and I'm also going to highlight on the bridge of my nose. I kind of have, you know, laid back from highlighting my cheekbones because I do have a little bit of texture there. So I just don't highlight there that much anymore. And then I'm also going to put it on my cupid's bow on my lips. And then I'm just going to go in and moisturize my lips. You can just use Blistex or Vaseline or anything. I use the Naked Forever Lip Primer, but you don't have to use that. And then I'm going in with a lip color. This is a Smashbox Stepping Out Liquid Lipstick. Then I'm just going to use my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in a color Club Hopper. And then define my lips so that it does not look super washed out. So now I'm just going to take off my little bandana because I was letting my baby hairs sit and dry while I was doing my makeup. Now this is a closure wig that I made. Um, all I did was just sew the tracks onto the wig cap and then I kept the wig cap on. I didn't cut anything so that it's nice and firm and I didn't have to use any got to be gel. If you guys want to see how I made this wig, even though I made one with a lace front, this one is with a closure so I will make another video separately for this. Um, but this hair is from Peerless Virgin Hair from AliExpress and it's in their Brazilian Deep Wave and it's bomb. So I'm just taking some of my foundation powder and just putting that on my part so this, it just blends a little bit better. And I did go ahead and do some wand curls off camera. I have so many videos on my channel of me doing wand curls. But if you guys want to see a separate video, I will make it for you guys. So just for you. So all I'm doing is just, I want to keep my curl definition. So I'm just going through some of the curls and just breaking it through with my finger. Just to make it a little bit more separated but I still get that definition of that wand curl. And then I'm just going to fluff that hair, dance a little bit, and then that pretty much includes the entire toot. Just showing you guys how you can still look decent and flawless, even if you have troubled skin like mine. Um, but as always, I love you guys, and stay tuned for my next video because it will be on my tattoos, finally. I know, right? <laughs> but I hope to see you guys in my next video, and as always, I love you. Bye.